actresses, two legendary beauties together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Margaret, I want to say, I'm so glad that we can be friends, that we don't let our professional rivalry get in the way, because as, as many of you know in the business, Margaret and I are always going up for the same roles. <laughs> <laughs> the producer calls up, he wants a verisimilitude, Margaret, big type, so I go over the reading, and there you are, but yes, we are true artists. We can overcome this. Yes, thank you. Thank you. face down in your dirty bath water? <laughs> you see, I know about these things. As they say, Vera put the V in vault. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> nein, nein, Vera, not tonight. Elsa comes to you, the supreme mistress of the theater, for professional advice. Elsa's worried about her career. The offers are just pouring in, but every single script is the same. They take one look at Elsa, and all they see is the dominatrix. <laughs> Typical Hollywood, no imagination, so quick to stereotype. Elsa is an actress. Elsa needs to grow artistically, to stretch her talents. But no, always the dominatrix. And Elsa does not know why. <laughs> Elsa went to see her agent, and he said, no dominatrix roles today, Elsa. Yes. Elsa got so angry, Elsa chained him to his own desk, wearing nothing but a leather bondage mask and a little hot wax. <laughs> don't ask where Elsa put his cell phone, but his proctologist will be so surprised when he's a dial tone. <laughs> but Vera, Elsa comes to you because you have trained all of the great actors. They are casting for the role of Blanche in a street town named Desire. But this would be the perfect opportunity for Elsa to demonstrate her range. A range indeed, Mr. De Selsa, yes. I mean, you are not the first actress who jumps to mind when one thinks of Blanche. That delicate flower crushed by the cruelties of the world. But we will do an acting exercise. <laughs> yes, I, will, I will show you what we do to, to get into character, to achieve the role. Yes, Blanche, a delicate flower. That is it, a delicate flower. Here, Mr. Celso, I want you to imagine you are a rosebud, fresh in the morning dew. You feel the warmth of the sun as it gradually warms you. Yes, and then you open, petal by fragile petal by fragile petal. <laughs> these grapes washed? I know what I shall die of. I shall die eating an unwashed grape. You see? You see, Mr. Elsa, how we get into character? <laughs> now you try it. <laughs> just, just relax. Just relax, yes. Is that not really? Yes, you are a delicate rosebud. Yes. Oh, Peter, who is the sun? In the sky. Yeah, yeah. Son, as old as you to shine now. Ah. Oh, to shine in petal, as old as you to open now, yeah. Ah. The power of the dawn commands you open, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Das ist einen guten Blumen, yeah. Yeah, Elsa is an well-disciplined kleiner Rosebud, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And ah. you. You grape and strudel, you are a dirty little grape. How <laughs> dare you appear at Elsa's table so? Only clean grapes for Elsa. Go and wash yourself. Go, get out, get out, get out. Ah! Elsa is now in character. Feel it done, Vera. Elsa is now ready to audition. And if those tumkos of the lamps don't realize that Elsa was born to play the part of Blanche, 
It would be barium animus for them all! Ha 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 Oh, Doris, watch your step, yes. Oh, Doris. 